Hi, my name is Finlay. I've been playing tennis for 20 years and I'm a baseline grinder. Hi, my name's Ella. I've been playing tennis for 18 years and I'm an aggressive baseline player. Hi, I'm Joe. I've been playing tennis for 15 years and I'm an all-court player. Um, it felt really comfortable. It felt like it was a really easy racket to play with. Um, felt like the ground strokes were really quite comfortable. I was able to generate a lot of spin, keep a lot of control, um, but also had to put very little effort in to generate any power, so that was really good. Playing, playing the out wide shots, I felt like I was able to generate a lot of spin. I felt like I was able to generate like, good depth as well to sort of allow some good recovery time, but also um, put my opponent under pressure at the same time. I really like this racket. So I've used the Wilson Blades in the past and I'm currently using the Aero Pro team and I felt like this quite, felt quite similar to my actual current racket. So it felt very natural and very comfortable for me. I was able to get good power, good control and also good direction on the ball. Well, so I was able to then actually hit a really good angle back on the ball, so able to actually hit an aggressive shot back, which was amazing. To be honest, when I was hitting the ground strokes, I felt a little bit out of my depths. Uh, I found it really difficult to control the racket. Um, wasn't, didn't feel like I was hitting the ball that cleanly. Uh, I'm used to using the Babolat Pure Aero, uh, which is just easier power and bigger sweet spot. And I just couldn't quite get the, get the shots right at the beginning on the ground strokes. Yeah, similar feeling. I, I, you know, I just wasn't, I didn't have full confidence behind my shots and I felt like I was struggling to just hit on the right part of the racket. Oh, the volleys were great. The volleys were really good. They felt really lovely, had really good control. You were able to just hit it like exactly where you wanted to every time. It was, yeah, really nice, this breath racket. The smashes were great. So had a really big sweet spot on this racket, so it had really good feel, really good control, and able to get really good power behind all the smashes too. Similar to the ground strokes, I, I really had to focus pretty hard to, to hit the ball clean. And even when I did feel like I was connecting, it didn't feel as natural as I, I would have hoped. So even though I struggled to control the ball on volleys, on smashes, it was totally fine. I had plenty of power. Um, I was hitting the spots I wanted to when I went for it. And yeah, felt really good overhead. Uh, it felt quite comfortable, quite felt very forgiving. Um, I, did, I wouldn't say like I was able to sort of like punch the volleys quite the same, but I'd say that I was able to have sort of like better control over it. Um, I thought it's probably a really great racket if you're at the net playing doubles and someone's hitting really strong shots at you, it's easy to control. It takes a lot of the power out of the shot, allows you to sort of distribute that power back. I felt very comfortable on the smashes. They felt really clean. Didn't feel like I was going to miss hit one. Like even, I even hit a few that weren't center of the racket, but I still felt like I was hitting a clean ball, which is a nice surprise. The serves felt pretty similar to the smashes, you know. Um, Plenty of control, I was hitting those spots, hitting it hard, it felt good on the flat serve. I'm used to hitting quite a bit of spin on my second serve. Um, I was struggling to generate that much spin on the second serve with the Wilson. Um, but, you know, maybe I'll just throw in two first serves, hit them flat both times. It generates a lot of power, again, very much like the ground strokes, doesn't require a lot of power from, from myself, um, but generates a lot of power, feels really nice on the shoulder, sort of allowed me to generate some great speed and also felt really good service action as well. Felt like a really good service action. I felt that this, I think, is really good for generating spin. Like, I felt like I was really able to get some kick on my serve. Um, I felt like, I, especially playing on this hard court, felt like I was really able to generate some kick and it allowed it to bounce up against um, my opponent. That was really good. So actually, all the rackets we tried so far, this has been my favorite in terms of the serves. So I was able to actually hit really good serve. So I was hitting from the juice side, and obviously being left-handed, that wouldn't be my natural preferred side, but was able to get really good control throughout the ball, really good power, really good direction. Yeah, really good. Uh, I definitely think it's more of a baseline, baseline racket. I think it will allow you to sort of send deep uh, forehand and backhand shots all day long. I don't think you're gonna have a problem with it at all. Um, I'd say it definitely suits the baseline game. Definitely, this is definitely good for an aggressive baseliner. But also I'd say it's quite good if you're like a double specialist as well, so you can get good control on the volleys, the smashes. I think it's a really good all-round racket for actually all players. I think it'd suit most style of games, whether you're a beginner or a more advanced player. I think it would be perfect for everyone. Honestly, I don't think this racket suits the all-court player that much. Uh, I just found it too difficult to control the ball when I was pushed out wide. I, 
you know, I don't want to be thinking too hard about where I'm hitting on the record. I just want to be able to swing and feel good about that it's going to go back in court. And I just didn't feel that way. I really liked the colour scheme. I like the red and black. It looks really smart, really like professional and actually like a really, really nice design. Something I would definitely choose for a racket if I was going to buy this one. I really like the design. It's sleek, it's modern and uh, black and red, you can't go wrong. I really like the matte finish as well. Really cool. Uh, it's quite a simple design, but it's a really, really cool classic design, I think. Looks like it's sort of like returning to sort of uh, some of Wilson's more classic looks. Um, I really like it. Gorgeous colour. It looks really smart. Um, I think that's a fair price. Um, it's probably the top end of what I pay for a racket myself, but I can definitely see it being worth that because for me as a baseline player, it's, it's the kind of racket I'd like to use. Yeah, I think £250 is a really good price for this racket. So it's a really good all-round racket with suit beginners and more advanced players. I think it's the perfect racket for everyone. I think £250 is quite steep because if it's, if it's exactly what you're looking for, maybe, but I don't know that feeling because I just didn't feel that way about the racket. So I think £250 is too much for this racket.